Hi guys, we are inside the new Triton uh, 2.4 Mivec diesel. Um, so this is the portion where I run through what's in the car, first impression, how does it make me feel. Uh, this is where I talk about how tactile the buttons are and whatnot that's in this car. And let's start by talking about what this car is meant to do because I guess if you're in a luxury sedan, an Audi or BMW or maybe even a Camry or a Mazda 6, you are looking for that premium comfort features. If you are in a, I don't know, maybe a SUV, you want to see a blend, I guess, more of being purposeful as well as being a little more luxurious. When you're in a pickup truck, what does, what does come to your mind? Well, in a pickup truck, we think about being utilitarian. Yes, that's right. Uh, which means it's functional, it's usable, it's something that won't get dinged up, something that's hardy. And you think of men in uh, big muscle uh, shoulders, you know, muscular guys who drive in these cars. Well, this car to me is special because I'm in this car now. And although this is meant to be a pickup truck, 4x4, to go out of the world and explore, uh, I do feel, uh, how do I say, a little pretty in this car because Mitsubishi obviously is a brand that everybody is familiar with in Malaysia. They have the Proton and the Proton uh, uses a lot of the parts from Mitsubishi um, and the interiors are always kind of functional and same thing over here. We get nice little chrome little bits here and there. We get nice steerings, we've got nice players, we've got nice, um, what else, uh, nice dash, nice uh, door pins, you know. Um, off the back, you'd be surprised. I mean, over here, some might say, over here, this bit is a little bit plasticky, a bit hard. But yes, it is hard. It's meant to be hard because it's meant to uh, live up to all the abuse it's going to get through through its life. But at the same time, it's not the hard or the type that is like when you scratch on it, it kind of gives you this almost like a chalkboard feeling. No, this one is nice to scratch on. I could, I could do this whole day. Yeah, so it's a nice hard plastic, you know. Uh, the leather that's on this car, for example, it's on the steering as well as on the uh, gear knob uh, and I think also on the handbrake. And these are uh, very, um, how do I say, very hard plastics, I mean, very hard leather, sorry, uh, to the point it almost feels like plastic, uh, which I guess is a good thing because you're going to be putting this car to a lot of abuse and this car seems like it can handle that. At the same time, when we're talking about being utilitarian, yes, I got it right this time, as well as being able to be comfortable in this car, this car, if you ask me, so I keep saying car, it's not a car, it's a pickup truck, yeah. This pickup truck has got fantastic seats. Um, I drove the D-Max, um, what, a month ago, and the D-Max had almost uh, wider seats for the back, and I was kind of uh, sloshed around. Same in the CX-5. In this car, uh, oh, car again, in this pickup truck 4x4, the seats um, do hug me very well. I, I'm very I'm very planted in the seats and uh, while going through corners, uh, it does give me a more sportier feel. And that's another point I'm bringing up over here. The D-Max was a car that, oh, not car, the D-Max was a pickup truck that was more Client is the word, I guess it's more soft, it went over humps and you were like, oh, like you can go all over like that. Um, and it got over humps, there's no issue about it. This pickup truck, um, it's a bit more firm. And what it gives you is, I guess you can't have both worlds, you can't be soft and hard at the same time. Yes, you can't. <laughs> this particular pickup truck, uh, going on straight lines, going over corners, I do feel this handles way, way better than any of the uh, pickup trucks I've, I've driven. I've driven the Hilux, I've driven the uh, D-Max, uh, I've driven this one, and I think a few more pickup trucks I've, I've driven in my life. And this one seems to be the more, I guess, in this price bracket, uh, that 100,000 uh, ringgit price bracket, uh, the more better handling on normal roads, you know? And one might argue, if you're buying a pickup truck, why do you care about being normal roads? Well, 
to me i think today the pickup trucks are divided into few segments um there is a obviously a commercial aspect to it uh, people are using these cars for commercial purposes but even then more often than not more than half the time they will be on normal roads like this let me show you here yeah so on roads like this whereby you're going into a housing area you go to speed bumps um, you want a car that drives well and this car will deliver when you go off-road i do feel that it's um it's a little harder but which isn't a bad thing it almost feels like this could handle a lot more uh, compared to more softer tuned suspensions so overall first impression inside and out i'm quite liking the interior which i'll run through again in more detail after this but being the driver's seat that's what i feel i feel this car it's more driver centric on normal roads this car is more driver centric in terms of uh, comfort uh, picture comfort features in the car wherever you hold it's either an aluminium aluminium feel um thingy <laughs> as well as nice uh, plastics which are almost leather feeling looking like and feeling like and actual leather so yeah it's uh it's it's well put together and for the price well put it this way this one it starts at hundred thousand ringgit um they're about for the manual transmission the isuzu d max starts at eighty eight thousand. so a twelve thousand dollar difference for the lower spec model from this against the d max i need to see the lowest spec model of the Triton Public Edition but being in this one this is about 136,000 ringgit um, yeah I mean I'm I'm fully sorted I'm, I'm very happy and comfortable being in this um, if I didn't have a car and this is all I had to drive around KL town traffic whole day long uh, I wouldn't complain because uh, again it's very comfortable to drive um, it's easy to park oh and I must say driving this car um, a lot of the uh, cool gadgetry in this vehicle are to do with driving on normal roads things like uh, front collision warning uh, things like um, that there, there is a kind of a when, when you're about to hit something it gives you a little warning to say break so hey guys here we are going up my favorite um, hill which isn't good thing this is actually Hulangat going up the hill of Hulangat um, now I I drove the CX-5 in the same uh, pass and obviously the CX-5 was a much more sportier car uh, SUV and the Triton is a pickup which I'm going to try to use the uh, panels to see how fast or how smooth can I overtake this Saga for this Beza in front of me so let's do this so overtaking on this car going over sharp corners you know what this is an extremely sharp corner and i'm doing this with a lot of confidence so i, I do i do must say you know um i was thinking that the cx5 would probably be better in this road than this car but pick up truck <laughs> but um i i could be fooled i could be fooled to think that this is an actually suv running on uh, not leaf spring suspension uh, suspension leaf spring suspension yeah dropping the gear overtaking no problem whatsoever doing a sharp corner here a left followed by a right you know what it handles pretty well you see back there I was um, going next to the Maybe uh, Axia and I was pretty close normally if this was a uh, pickup which was a bit more wobbly I would feel less confident doing that but again, um, I feel extremely confident taking the sharp corners in Hulangan. Very nice. 
I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even be doing this, you know. Try and take corners um, in a mountain pass with a very high center of gravity 4x4, going against the likes of the fastest car in Malaysia, the Maivi and the Axia. Uh, but I am, um, and it's a testament of how well this car is put together. Oh no, the pickup truck is put together. Um, and I, I do must say, you know, while on nice roads like this, the harder suspension does give it a more sedan-like feel than any other pickup truck I've driven. So let's try now to go on the four-wheel drive mode, and I'll talk a bit more in detail later. So now we are in four-wheel drive. So I should get more traction now opposed to before. And let's see how this fares going around corners. Let them go. Now, if you're familiar with um, the system over here, this is actually from the Pajero Sport. And unlike other um, systems on like uh, other pickup trucks, this one is not a four-wheel drive locking uh, system. Whereby uh, in most pickup trucks, when you go four-wheel drive, it locks all four tires. Here, there is a uh, center differential which makes sure the uh, both the front and the back and each each wheel get to move independently without being locked uh, Without being locked full time So here we are hey guys, so here we are at the spot that I used to go to this is the veg fish Thai farm restaurant uh, Do come and check out in Ampang if you're around the neighborhood so here we're going to go through this road here which is a steep slope down and let's see how this car fares. I'm now on four wheel drive, the high range which is not the um, off-road mode and let's see how this fares. Again, very smooth. Let's take the more, <laughs> un the more unpaved road. Again, no issue whatsoever. This is obviously a pickup truck designed to attack these kind of roads. I always feel that I want to do that again, but this time to do it with um, the high range, the high range four wheel drive mode. Let's try that again. Okay, again, let's go up this slope here okay so let me stop for a while I'm going to go to four wheel high range lock as suspected I can feel the car is or the pickup truck is, is a bit jumpy that's because it's trying to grip or bite the road or the gravel that's down there. And this is on four wheel drive, high range, lock. Mm. Okay, let me go back to um, four wheel drive, standard. Okay. Yep. As you can see on this mode over here, the pickup truck uh, jumps less because it's not trying to bite every four corners at the same time. So again, let's go down this track again, 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 again. Okay, let's now try the hill descent mode. Um, so I've never tried it before in my life. So let me try this. Hill descent.
So on King Descent mode, as you can see, it's rolling by itself. Um, and I guess it's controlling the descent of the vehicle. If I if I press the accelerator just ever so slightly, it helps me move along. And over here, earlier I was just rolling through. Now uh, my uh, my feet are off the throttle or the brake, uh, and it's assisting my descent down this uh, steep slope. Pretty cool stuff. So again, off to a stop, let me off, turn off the um, hill descent mode, and here we are, the, great, the gears are moving freely. Nice. parked oh yeah i mean if you're in the market definitely do check this out uh it's something that uh, might tickle your fancy if you can spare the twelve thousand ringgit extra uh, for the lowest uh, spec model um this compared to a d-max uh, but again the d-max has got lower road tax and it's more fuel efficient oh i guess guys you gotta go out and see what you like <laughs> so again thank you and I hope to see you uh, soon. Hey guys, one more cool feature on this car, on this vehicle, on this pickup truck that I didn't mention was that um, it's a uh, pedal shifter. So again, I'm on D now as you can see. So I'll try to um, again go to manual. So again, I'm on now on second gear. I go third gear. I go fourth gear. And if for some reason I get uh, bored and I want to go back to D, all I do is, normally we will have to go back to the uh, gear knob there, but here it's simple, just press on the gear panel shift here for long, and you can see it goes back to D. Now I thought that was a pretty cool feature to have in a pickup truck, where panel shifters aren't required, but you put it anyway, because you think it's sporty, but again, I appreciate it because why this car is sporty to drive, so again, maybe this car is worthwhile having this. I don't know, I'm confused. Is it a pickup truck? Is it a sports car? Is it adventure? Is it um? Is it a or De Paris Dakar really off vehicle off road? I I don't know what it is, but I like it. So, cheers, guys.